You can download the arts in the video for free, link in the description, or spikes that you can walk through and only take damage when you fall on them. Create a new scene with a sprite 2D as the core, right click, rename, rename it to spike, set the texture to the art atlas that you can download for free, link in the description, then go to texture and set the filter to nearest as we are using pixel art, then under region, enable, edit region, change the snap mode to grid snap, scroll in with the scroll wheel, then select the spike sprite. Add an area 2D node as a child, add a collision shape 2D node as a child of the area 2D node, set the shape to a rectangle 2D, select it, set the size to 6x5, then under transform, set the position to 1.5 5 on the Y axis. This Area 2D will be used as the collider to detect the player. Add a script to the scene, then select the Area 2D node, go to Node, Signals, right click the body entered signal, connect, select the spike node, and hit connect. Inside we do a check that the body is the player, and not some other body. I do this by checking the player node's name, however feel free to change this however you'd like. Just make sure that you are grabbing the player node. Then I check if the velocity of the body is more than zero, meaning that the body is currently falling downwards, which is needed to do damage. Then I reload the current scene to restart the level. Alternatively, you can just change the player's health, then check if it's less than or equal to zero before you restart the scene, although this is up to you based on your game. Now you have a simple spike system that allows the player to walk through them, only taking damage when they fall on the spikes, and don't forget that you can check out the project files, link in the description.